Welcome back, everybody. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are having a good one out there today. Well, guys, I'm going to show you the fastest way to level up in Chapter 2 Season 6. If you guys could, make sure to use my code COBESMIND in the item shop. If you guys do, make sure to tell me in the comments so I can thank you. Thank you to all my supporters. All right, guys, let's talk about the main thing this season. So I Fire Monkey tweeted out, in order to 100% all of the level rewards this season, you will need to be level 215. It appears that they will reveal the level reward stuff over time, so we might not see level style leaks until future updates. And then he also tweeted levels where you unlock a new style, 110, 120, 130, 160, 170, 180, 205, 210, and 215. So it looks like there are only going to be three different skins that we will be able to get different edit styles with and I honestly don't know which ones they're going to be. We know for sure that Laura Croft will be the level 215 golden edit style, but what are going to be the other skins? It could easily be the Spire Assassin, but I also think it could be Roz and Tarana as well. I don't know, guys. And if you end up going over to the battle pass and scroll over one, two, three, four times, it does show unlocks in 14 days for the crystal rewards of season six so guys i'm pretty sure these three skins it's only going to be three skins i don't know which ones they are but they definitely will be unlocked through leveling up so I did want to mention that guys, but the main thing we're going to be talking about today is how to level up and how to level up quickly. I would actually say that Team Rumble isn't the best way to level up anymore. We actually have a new way to level up, which is quick challenges. So as you guys can see right there, in 8 hours and 28 minutes, it will refresh into a new day. And once that new day comes around, we'll be able to get 22,000 XP for each of these quick challenges. Once you get them done, then they go back down to 2.2k per quick challenge but that is so much better than last season last season it was 1000 per quick challenge now we get 3600 more xp which is insane i ended up compiling a list of some of the quick challenges i don't believe this is all of them but it's most of them so i'm going to be putting it on the screen right now so you guys can take a glimpse and sort of understand exactly how you're going to get these challenges done and where you're going to need to land because it's going to be different each game all right guys i'm going to show this off and i would say bot lobbies is the best way to do this but if you can't do that solos duos squads anything like that it'll work for these challenges there actually is a decent amount of thinking and planning involved which actually makes it a challenge so we have to consume bananas harvest metal 500 and destroy structures at the pizza pit so guys this is what we're going to do since I know bananas spawn behind Coral Castle, and I would say it's easiest to get five back here, we are going to go here, and then we're going to improvise and try to figure out where we can get 500 metal, and also destroy structures at Pizza Pit, Sticks, or Dur Burger, and we'll probably go behind Craggy Cliffs. So for bananas, let's check. They should spawn somewhere around here. You guys can break some bushes right here. And there we go. We need to just pick them up for now. And if you go back, there are even more. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to take some fall damage and consume these five bananas. Oh, it was only three bananas. My bad, guys. So at this point, guys, I would go try to find a boat and get over to Craigie Cliffs as fast as possible. You guys can loot. You guys can open ammo crates. You guys can kill at this point if you guys would like to. Or you can just try to complete the challenges as quickly as possible. In a typical game, I probably wouldn't be rushing through it this fast. I would pick up at least a little bit of loot, open a few chests, that way it's not 6,600 XP, it's probably more like 8,000 to 9,000 XP per game. So we can farm this metal right here before we go. And I know Craggy Cliffs does have a decent bit of metal for us to farm, so I'm not too worried about farming right now. So if somehow you got these same exact challenges over here, there is Splode. And if you go up and talk to him and you're the first to talk to a Fortnite character in that game, you actually end up getting 300 XP, including 205, I believe, for talking to him. 
So it definitely helps knowing the Fortnite character locations. If you guys need a tutorial on that, I've already uploaded a video. The link will be in the description. Now let's head over here. So you guys obviously know sticks right here. So all we have to do is go inside the building and break 10 structures. It can be chairs, it can be tables, it can be really anything. There we go, we completed that quick challenge. Now the last thing we have to do is farm up 500 metal, which shouldn't be too hard. And I also know there is one more Fortnite character over here. Her name is Remedy, we'll go talk to her. And guys, remember, it's totally up to you whether you wanna stay in the game, if you want to get more XP by getting kills, if you wanna play the full game out, it's still a great way to get XP. We're gonna go up to Remedy, hello, and we get 205 XP just like that. And this should do it for the medal, and there we go. And guys, for me, I'm gonna back out of the game and continuously do this over and over again and i will show you one more example so you guys can get a feel of what i try to do and how i try to do it but also guys i would say this is the hardest set of challenges that i've gotten so far but we'll see if we get some easier ones for the next one again we got pretty unlucky here we have place top 10 destroy structures at steamy stacks and use bandages or med kits so obviously we're gonna have to play this game out in order to get top 10 and complete this challenge or we're never going to get it out of the way and it will just always be two challenges instead of three so we got a perfect bus for steamy stacks and honestly this one this set of challenges even though it's a little bit more time consuming it couldn't be better if you got one like this make sure to pick up bandages or med kits i'll just pick up bandages a stack of five and use three by taking fall damage but after that guys after you're done with the other steamy challenge then just loot up the rest of steamy kill every everyone here and play out the game get top 10 and move on and by the way guys a structure is pretty much anything it's a chair it's one of these things i don't know what to call them but yeah just destroy them real quick and we're almost done with this challenge and there we go we're already done and we found our bandages so what we're gonna do we're gonna build up real quick jump off Hopefully that's enough fall damage and then use three bandages up. I'll fast forward. And then guys, at this point, you're basically done. And now it's time to loot, get as many kills as possible, shake down everyone you knock. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's very easy to do, even in regular lobbies, if you guys want to try those out. But overall, guys, I would definitely say this is a lot more fun than just opening chests in Team Rumble. But guys, I'll probably make a tutorial video on that later on. But I'm not going to complete the top 10 challenge today, so I'm going to back out and we'll see what challenges we get next. Our next challenge is one shotgun elimination and 100 bow damage so again pretty simple self-explanatory and easy you guys are gonna have to tell me if this helped you out make sure to leave a like subscribe turn on those notifications and also guys use my code cobes mind i would appreciate it i hope you guys did enjoy i'll see you guys later bye guys